If you clicked on this video, you probably already know what kind of profile I'm talking about. So I'm not going to waste your time and show you how you can create an aesthetically pleasing Instagram account for yourself. For this video, I've gone through countless profiles, videos, and courses from experts as well as my own experiences, took out the gold nuggets, and will give you everything to build the most aesthetic godlike Instagram profile possible for absolutely free in just five steps. Let's get into it. Step zero, mindset. Why do you need a good-looking Instagram account in the first place? That's because it is an important way of socializing in the modern world. And if you want to socialize, then you need to pay attention to how you are portraying yourself to be. A good profile makes you look high value and tells your story to the world. The amazing part is that you don't have to fake anything, you actually even shouldn't. And this video will help you showcase your existing life in a compelling way. If you can pull it off correctly, it's no less than a solid investment, an asset. Since Instagram is the biggest networking and also dating app in the world, it'll help you passively attract high-value men and women into your life while you do your everyday thing. And no, you don't need millions of followers for that. You just need an interesting enough profile. Step 1. Unfuck your Instagram. In order to revolutionize anything, be it a nation or your habits, you first need to clean up the existing garbage. The same is the case with your Instagram. Remove the trash content, let's say anything that doesn't go with your ideology, and don't look back on it twice. But don't mindlessly go on berserk mode. There is an orderly way to go about the extermination. Archive all photos of your old self. Here's a list of photos you should archive immediately. The high school era. The college try hard. No one cares where you went for spring break or what frat you were in. Selfies. Selfies are fourth wall destroyers, which I'll explain in a bit. For now, archive them. Overly edited photos. The bad photographer. Archive all posts that hurt the following basic laws of photography. The inside joke. There's a high chance people will misinterpret you or think you're dumb. Archive. The is that your girlfriend photo. The I'm a huge fan pic. It just sets a frame of lower value. Archive. Important. Make sure to not delete them, but instead, archive them. Now, you might not see any specific reason to do that. I mean, you just have to make the unattractive stuff vanish, right? You see, by archiving the stupid stuff, you keep the algorithm flowing. Your profile doesn't get downgraded by Instagram, and you still get to hide whatever isn't appealing. On the other hand, if you delete the pictures, then your profile gets rated low and won't get recommended to other high-value and successful people. Another plus point is that you will still be able to go look back at these hidden posts and be reminded of what you don't want. It'll act as fuel to your anti-vision. Username, profile pic, bio. Minimalism is the key here. Having a profile is simple, but having a simple and still impressive profile is a skill. Firstly, use a short, sweet, and concise username. Just choose your real name, maybe combining it with a nickname you have. Ideally, you don't want any dots, underscores, or numbers. This is important, as it'll not only make your profile look aesthetic, but also admirable, because you'll stand out from the NPCs and ultimately attract other main characters of this world. If there's no way around it, consider using dots, but still, try not to. For the profile picture, I recommend that you go for something plain, sharp, dense, and serene. This will look something like this. Don't go for anything with a flashy background, blurred pixels, or rough angles. Similarly, company logos and corporate pictures are a big no. Keeping in mind the minimalism principle, go for a brief and dense bio. Now, one may opt for a variety of different ideas for their bio, ranging from a line from a book, some dialogue from a movie, or popular quotes. While these are not wrong, they are not great either. You should aim to disclose important info about yourself. This includes stuff that you want people to know about you, like your brand, your work ethic, or your priorities. In this way, your profile will radiate a sense of seriousness, and as a result, you will effortlessly command respect. Plus, it will make you real. Step 2. Understanding the right content. Now that you've cleaned up the mess, it's time to fill the space with the right content. For that, you should ideally go for an 80-20 ratio between conquering and inviting. Conquering. Like the literal meaning of the word itself, 80% of your photos should be about conquering things like your daily meaningful tasks, your craft, gym, business, and your hustle. 
Again, this will show that you are serious about creating and that most of your time is dedicated to either thinking about your battles or winning them. Inviting. Now, you don't want everything to be stoic. It will give the impression that you are emotionless and don't love your friends and family. So the rest of the photos should be about you inviting the real ones into your life. Here, you can take things to the next level by breaking the fourth wall. This is something that filmmakers do when they want actors to address the audience directly through the camera lens. What you need to do is look straight at the viewer in your photos. This builds a sense of relatability and closeness with the audience. In this way, people will not only get inspired by your work ethic depicted in most of the photos, but also would want to join your tribe when they see this human side of you. If you are confused about where to start, here are six picture ideas that follow the 80-20 rule to make your IG look sublime. An added benefit is that it will do wonders if you want to go the dating route. Style photo. Experiment with different styles and find what suits your personality the best. You can go on Pinterest for inspiration and select the style you want to portray. Physique shot. You shouldn't go for cliches like a gym selfie in this one. The physique shot works best and doesn't come across as cringy when you show off your body in a cool environment like a beach, sports arena, or pool, or even while fixing your car's tire. Hobby photo. This essentially discloses you doing something you like. You should ideally go for something cool that adds a layer of depth to your personality, like reading a book, swimming, painting, and other things along those lines. For that, you can check out our video on 12 attractive hobbies all men should try. Adventure photo. As men, our primitive instinct is to undertake challenging tasks. This category is just that. It includes you doing something adventurous, like a hike, scuba diving, jet skiing, or anything that pumps adrenaline. Social circle. Other than personal posts, you can upload a group post with other cool and high-value men and women. This can include a sophisticated dinner or hangout. But avoid the, is that your girlfriend picture? Pictures with animals. Lastly, this type adds a characteristic of humanism to your profile. This shows that you are kind to everyone, thus combining your beast side with a soft one. Step three, creating content and editing it. You need to know how to take pictures and edit them. This is arguably the most crucial step in making an attractive IG. That's why to get it right, you need to follow some important rules and guidelines. Breaking the fourth wall. As previously mentioned, breaking the fourth wall is you directly addressing the camera. The eye contact creates a connection with the audience, making it feel like you are talking to them face to face. However, it should not be done often. In the photos where you are conquering, you should ignore the camera. In that way, it feels as if the audience is watching you do something alone. In the case of inviting people, as the name implies, you consider them and show the loving side of you, which will make them want to be a part of your journey. The rule of thirds. This is the artistic technique in which you divide the picture into columns and rows by activating grid mode in the settings of your phone. So now your visual is divided into nine areas where you ideally want to put the subject and for your pictures, your eyes, where two lines cross. This is the most famous filmmaking rule which makes the scene look symmetrical, arranged, and pleasing to the eye. If you go and look around any captured image, you'll start seeing it everywhere, even in paintings. Environment and background. This plays a massive role in determining how your profile is going to look. The best option is to go for luxurious backgrounds that are clean and high value. Apart from that, a general rule of thumb is contrast. Try to compose a contrast between your outfit and the background. If you are wearing something plain, you can go with a more exciting and vibrant background. Likewise, if you are wearing something that steals the spotlight, then you should go for a calmer background that complements your outfit. Take more photos. Make it a practice with your friends that everybody is just taking more photos when you spend time together. It'll not only give you more opportunities to post, but also make a good memory album. Taking pictures randomly will also get you these cool, in-the-moment pictures that feel authentic and unscripted, aka real. Equipment. A camera will give you the most high-quality photos, but if you can't get one, then your phone's camera is fine too. It is more about how you click and edit rather than what you get it clicked by. Furthermore, getting a tripod is a solid investment, especially if you don't have anyone else around to take pictures. Tripods are not too expensive, and they'll add stability to your images. I've put the one I use in the description. 
After that, you can maximize your phone's camera result by modifying its settings. For iPhone users, simply go to Settings, then Camera, find Formats, activate Most Compatible, and Apple Pro Raw with 48 megapixel resolution. There are other camera setting tricks too, like go to Settings, then Camera, and activate Lens Correction if that's available. Open the Camera app and reduce the exposure to minus one. This will make your photos look a little darker than usual and omit the excessive light that takes away the soul of the image. Sometimes portrait mode works wonders by blurring out the background and making you stand out. When in portrait, step away from the model to get the optimum result. Also use the studio light mode and set the depth to 11. Editing. Rule number one, never overdo the editing. That makes your photos look cringe and chaotic. The viewer will think that you are childish. Recall the simplicity rule, Leonardo da Vinci said. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. When the master of art believes in that, then you should too. What I recommend is to again go on Pinterest and try out different aesthetics that are proven to work. One of these is the ever cool dark aesthetic, like Dance Macbeth uses. I've linked a tutorial on how to edit dark aesthetic reels and stories in the description down below. Make sure to check that out and leave a comment under his video that you're coming from my video if you are serious about changing yourself. Step four, captions. Keeping in mind the simplicity theme, construct your captions in the least amount of words possible. Less is more. The less your caption says, the more your pictures will speak. The less you say, the more power you'll have and the more respect you'll command. Moreover, your captions show your maturity level. So it's okay to be fun, but don't be childish. This involves omitting the inside jokes and long explanations. There is a vast array of good captions that you can use like one-liners. These are the easiest ones you can go with. It can even be just one emoji or a word that encompasses the history behind the picture. Witty punchlines. Here you can disclose your sarcastic side while still staying suave. It is not supposed to make the watcher laugh uncontrollably. The goal is to go for a slight chuckle. Your own lyrics. It's something personal but also can showcase your craft. Again, this goes into the realm of hobbies. Announcements. This is an exception from the say less rule. In this, you are allowed to express yourself if there is a need to announce a turning point in your life, like a marriage or your first child. So there you have it, a complete manual to creating an aesthetically pleasing IG profile for attracting high value people into your life. If you liked this video, do check out our last video on how to glow up and look better than 99% of guys.